Good morning, everyone. Uh, sorry it's been a while. Uh, I've been incredibly busy with a number of things going on. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to do a brief update. Uh, I think there's a lot of confusion on uh, introverted feeling, as in in the sense of some people feel like it's not about, you know, it's less about harmony. Uh, that's not true. Harmony is actually in a value in itself. So introverted feelers can and will want harmony at, if that's their values. The, the point is the way the information is processed. It's not so much about what you believe or what you don't believe. For example, many introverted feelers feel like they're extroverted feelers because they want cooperation or they want harmony or they want to avoid conflict. And it's a personal value system. So it's the way the information is processed. You'll find that a lot of extroverted feelers and a lot of introverted feelers have the same values, but it's just the way that information is processed. Again, it's it's a subjective versus objective. So in the sense of extroverted feeling, it's important to understand that extroverted feelers are sacrificing what they may believe to create harmony and to collaborate with those around them. Introverted feelers, on the other hand, will stand by their own subjective values, even if it goes against the grain of society. Many times it doesn't. Many times it doesn't go against the grain. Many times their values are the same as the rest of society. So introverted feelers can often feel like they're uh, very much part of a group. It doesn't mean that introverted feelers are rebels. It doesn't mean that introverted feelers are, you know, horrible people. It doesn't mean that introverted feelers are uh, selfish. It just means that introverted feelers process it subjectively, so it has to cross their own internal value system. So they feel that the world on the inside, these internal values, is where their fire is, and the extroverted feelers feel like the inside is corrupt, and they need to harmonize and strive to fulfill object ob uh, measurable standards created by society and if they don't mold to those then they're going to begin to point the finger at themselves and say why do I feel the way that I do why can't I harmonize with the way this society is here's an error in my thinking because it's not the way that the the group is and I say society I mean the group that they're in the social group whether it's a family setting whether it's a social setting a community whatever it may be they feel the need to harmonize with that and they'll measure their own values with that as a standard. Introverted feelers won't use that as a standard. They will use their own values as a standard and am I being authentic to who I am? Extroverted feelers feel like the, they're obtaining their best self by the standards that are set outside of themselves. So that's the difference. It's not about being selfish or you know full of crap or whatever else. It's just understanding that the feeling is directed differently and it's not emotional it's not like if you're a feeler then you're an emotional person and you're gonna cry it just means that you base it off a value system that's either internal or external so what is the orientation of that cognitive function is it directed outward or is it directed inward and that's the key where do you pull those those values from do you pull it from society or something outside of yourself and measure yourself to the standard that's external or do you measure it to the standard that's internal so if you have an internal standard and that's the way it should be, that's what you're going to measure it, then that is an introverted feeling function. This is the way it should be. But again, you can break that down and go, who set that standard? Was it set by society or was it set by yourself? Or was it set by what other external standard you've set for yourself? Um, it could be a number of things, but you just got to realize how you're processing that information. So that's a quick note on uh, extroverted and introverted feeling. I don't think a lot of people understand that. It's not like, I don't know if I'm an extroverted feeler or an introverted feeler, even though they're both value-based systems. And it's not to imply that extroverted feelers have no values. It's to imply that they measure their own value, their own worth, set by objective uh, measure, uh, I'm sorry, very, very objective measures created by society or the social group they're in. To give you an example of this, it would be like if they're in a group of 10 people and 10 people say, this is morally wrong. Okay, an extroverted feeler would go, okay, well, I don't feel like it's morally wrong, but maybe these people are right and maybe it actually is morally wrong and therefore 
I need to uh, strive to attain the standard so that I can be uh, accepted and I can, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning my own values because that's not truth. Truth is outside of myself. It's objective. So they will harmonize with the rest of the group and strive to attain that measurable objective. So whatever that social setting sets, that's a very mediocre example, but it's very off the cuff. So, but an introverted feeler on the other hand would be in a group of 10 and the 10 says, Hey, that's morally wrong. An introverted feeler would be like, well, what makes it morally wrong? You know, what makes it morally wrong? What, why should I change my value system and what I believe is morally wrong? Because you 10 think it's morally wrong, even though I feel or I think that it's it's not morally wrong because of this standard or this standard or this standard, and these are the standards that I've set for myself. And I don't need to harmonize with you guys just because you 10 believe that this is the right way, even though I have enough reason to believe it's not. So an introverted feeler could also go, you know, hey, maybe you guys are right, but uh, I have to set the own my own objective, my own standard. I'll take what you guys said and I'll incorporate it if I believe it and if it makes sense, and then I'll set the standard internally. It's not measurable by society. So if you tell me that I need to service 10 people and, you know, do 10 good things a day, I may find that five good things does it on its own and I don't need 10 things. So I'm going to modify the external standard based on what I feel is sufficient. So the point is, that's these are, again, very mediocre examples, but there are examples that give you an idea of how, how these different functions work in a setting. So it's important to understand that. Anyway, that's a quick message. There's a lot more to come. Um, I'm sorry, again, for the lack of uh, video production lately. It's been quite hectic with business, and I'm finishing this certification for Myers-Briggs. So I will be uh, available to test after this week. So I can, uh, you know, I can administer any Myers-Briggs test after this week. So that being said, uh, it is an option. So if you really want to be professionally typed, that is uh, going to be an option I'm going to be able to offer here in the near future. So I hope you all stay updated. I thank you all for being subscribers and, you know, sticking with me during times where I get busy and I kind of disappear for a while. But anyway, I do plan on creating more videos in the near future, and uh, I appreciate you guys' support. Thanks so much.